Chapter 721 Outstanding Little Fury Little Fury brought its mice to run along the sewage pipes. When people walked on the surface, they would suddenly hear something running under the manhole cover. There were many harmless insects in this dark and damp environment. For example, moths and red earthworms were common here. If such insects appeared at home, a bottle of detergent would do the trick. But that was before they had transformed. Now, moths that were previously as big as the little finger had grown as large as the thumb. It did not attack people, but the mice army would not have mercy on them. Little Fury knew that they could completely eradicate these insects. Their eggs were too small to be seen. A new batch would hatch in a few days. But as long as the mice army was around, they would be killed. But when there were harmless insects, there would be other insects who fed on them. These insects were more dangerous. Little Fury was riding a large mouse. Suddenly, a red centipede came from above and tried to bite Little Fury's head. This centipede was massive. It was almost as large as Little Fury. But when it came down, a gray mouse who was beside Little Fury had jumped up, causing some sewage water to splash. That gray mouse was dauntless. It used its claws to accurately grab the centipede and break it into two halves. This was not the first time this had happened. It was very easy for a class F mouse to deal with a centipede that had not undergone a complete evolution. Little Fury nodded its head in satisfaction. It took out a transparent bottle from its small backpack. It dipped the tip of its claw into the refresher fruit juice and fed it to the gray mouse. It was a reward. This felt like the peak of the mouse's life. Lu Shu was worried that Little Fury would not be able to control the mice, but Lu Shu did not know that Little Fury had brainwashed the mice every day using its power to control dreams. Other uses for this ability had not been discovered, but Little Fury used it to brainwash the mice. Little Fury did not teach the mice about success, nor spur them on. It would drill the impression that it was powerful and dominant into the mice's minds. Animals had consciousness. If a mouse found somewhere that it could find food, it would continue to go there. Thus, Little Fury had succeeded. But it knew that Lu Shu was right. There could not be a strong individual among the mice. This was something that it paid close attention to. To speak the truth, this worry was unnecessary. These mice had only drunk drops of diluted refresher fruit, while Little Fury had eaten whole fruits. Little Fury was about to advance to Class B, on the other hand, it was unlikely that there would ever be a Class B among the mice. Because Little Fury had given a reward for killing the centipede, the entire mice army stopped. They were a military army who followed all orders exactly. They did not even kill the insects. At that moment, Little Fury still did not know why the mice army had suddenly paused. Numerous moths and red earthworms escaped to the surface. They did not care whether they liked sunlight or not, the mice army underground was far more frightening. If they returned underground, it was as good as walking to their deaths. The area above where the mice army stopped was infested with insects. Although they did not attack humans, people felt very comfortable seeing so many insects running about. Some even appeared from the pipes under houses. This was extremely scary. Some residents ran out of their houses in shock, but the streets were full of insects who appeared from the manhole covers. The heavenly network suddenly sent out an alert. All teams were to report to the area that had been infested with insects. Even the secret practitioners were gathered and deployed by Yu Mingyu. The largest black market in the country was in Luo City, thus there were more secret practitioners than heavenly network members. It was just that they were weaker. But they did not have to use much strength against these creatures, who were in the early stages of evolution. It was handy to have secret practitioners around. Zhong Yutong busily led the Heavenly Network and the Daoyuan class students, while Yu Mingyu brought the secret practitioners. These insects are not harmful. Why have they all come out? There's not a lot of them either. How annoying, said someone suddenly. 
Zhang Yutong furrowed his eyebrows. From Zhang Yutong's distress, plus 666. He guessed that Little Fury might have something to do with this. The Heavenly Network was monitoring the unusual appearance of the mice army. But since Heavenly King Ya told them not to care about it, they did not pay any attention to it. He knew that the mice army had definitely cleaned the underground sewers. After his practice, Lu Xu suddenly saw an influx of distress points in his system's back end. Hundreds of distress points continued to flow in. It did not stop. Although these insects had slipped through the cracks, most areas had been cleared of the insects. Some residents living on the upper floors were not affected, but the sheer number of insects was frightening. Almost 3,000 people had provided Lu Xu with an average of 300 distress points in one morning. When Lu Xu was calculating the number of distress points needed for the fourth nebula, he grew depressed. He needed a million distress points to light up just the first nebula. The second nebula needed another million points, while the third nebula needed 2 million points. The seventh nebula needed 32 million distress points. Where would he get all these distress points from? In the end, the distress points came knocking on his door. In just one morning, Lu Xu had received 12 million distress points. The celestial fruits that Lu Xu exchanged and ate were enough to light up the first star of the nebula. When the first star of the fourth nebula lit up, not only did Lu Xu's strength and celestial powers increase, he saw the 36 strands of sparrow shade and the celestial powers merge together. 32 more strands appeared, bringing the total number of strands to 68. The 68 strands of the sparrow shade were interlocked and shuttled back and forth in a ball shape. They were concentrated, but did not bump into one another. It was like a shooting star. The sparrow shade was Lu Xu's sharpest and deadliest weapon for group attacks. The more strands the sparrow shade had, the more targets he could attack at the same time. But Lu Xu was puzzled. Where did all these distress points come from? He received a call from Zhong Yutong. The moment he picked up the phone, Zhong Yutong roared, Can your little fury save me some trouble? If it wants to kill insects, then it had better kill them. Don't let so many of them escape to the surface. Lu Xu was shocked. He now knew where the distress points had come from. But his first reaction was to ask, Were there any injuries? No. But there were insects everywhere. It wasn't completely safe. Chapter 722 Enhance Education Lu Xu heaved a sigh of relief. It was good that there were no injuries. He could earn distress points at any time, but he could not revive human lives that had been lost. But since there were no injuries, Lu Xu suddenly had a daring idea. Forget it. It was not good to scare people for no reason. Furthermore, there were still poisonous insects around. Lu Xu was conflicted. He knew that Little Fury would not injure anyone throughout the process. This time, the insects that had surfaced were insects who did not attack people, even if they had evolved. Even if there were poisonous insects, there were only a handful of them. On the other hand, Lu Xu was about to advance to Class A, he hesitated. The underground insects might not always be completely harmless, like the insects that had appeared this time. There were probably poisonous insects in the damp and dark sewers. After all, the residents of Luo City had never provoked him. He could even say, after I become stronger, I will be better able to protect all of you. Although there may be some injuries, but this is only temporary pain. Don't worry. I will never let all of you be harmed again. But this sounded like a sham that the villain in a movie would say. To Lu Xu, it was normal for him to have this kind of temptation. Everyone was selfish. However, this kind of conflict was also normal, as he still had his morals. Lu Xu suddenly woke Lu Xiaoyu up. Call Little Fury back. I want to ask it something. He had not decided on what to do. But it was not too late to ask Little Fury to stop and slowly think about whether there were any other safer methods. 
Little Fury came back with satisfaction on its face. Lu Xu asked, Have all the insects been killed? Little Fury patted its chest and wrote on its small notebook. Yes. Lu Xu's heart sank. There was no need for any further conflict, all the insects had been killed. Lu Xu petted Little Fury's head. Nicely done. As he spoke, Lu Xu had mixed feelings. Lu Xu's phone suddenly rang. It was a message from Nia Ting. Take good care of Little Fury. If not, I will personally go to Luo's city and deal with it. Lu Xu was sick to the stomach. Did you really need the boss of the Heavenly Network to deal with such a trivial matter? Sigh. Lu Xu's idea completely fell through. Lu Xu suddenly realized that just now, his head was filled with desire. He was not like this in the past. The entire city's security was at stake. How could he risk so many people's lives just to strengthen himself? It was not that people were not kind. This world simply had too many temptations. One must stick to their original intentions. Lu Xu felt that he could not make a mountain out of a molehill, but he should not give up eating for fear of choking either. He still had to earn distress points, but not like this. The secret practitioners had finished killing the insects. The residents came out to send them off and expressed their gratitude. Thank you so much. I never expected that there would still be kind people like you. This world is still full of kind people. The leader of the secret practitioners had a dragon tattooed on his arm and a spider tattooed on his neck. He got embarrassed when he was praised. Why are you being so polite to me? The resident was silent. Zhong Yutong silently turned around and said earnestly to Yu Mingyu, when we get back, remember to improve their education and enhance the quality of their thinking. Yu Mingyu said, okay. Night fell. There was a rustling sound in a village near Luo City. It was different from the sound of wind. The rustling sound was very concentrated. It sounded as if shells were rubbing against each other. The sound came from a place that bred scorpions. The scorpions were usually separated from one another. It had high medicinal value. It was able to heal burns, bone tuberculosis, middle ear infection, and so on. Precisely because of its medicinal value, farms that breed scorpions could be found all over Yuzhou, Xiazhou, Shanzhou, and so on. It could be found practically anywhere in the country. In the past, someone had tried to breed scorpions at home. In the end, the scorpion broke through the wall and attacked their neighbors, leaving seven people dead and two severely injured. Scorpions liked damp and dark environments. They were often bred in nests. Scorpions in the same nest would not attack one another, but scorpions from two different nests would kill one another. In this scorpion farm, the scorpions had grown as large as a palm. Their body, which was originally a light yellow, had become a dark brown. After the rustling sound, the barrier wall between two scorpion nests had been broken through. The scorpions started to kill one another. They had gone crazy. There were so many scorpions that soft hissing sounds could be heard as they killed one another. This was unheard of. The battle quickly ended in under an hour. The nest of scorpions that was left standing was heavily injured. A dozen giant female scorpions stepped on the dead scorpions and started to lay eggs on them. The eggs hatched very quickly. The newborn scorpions started to feed on the bodies of the dead scorpions. Their transparent bodies quickly transformed into hard shells. Hiss. After this was done, the nest of scorpions who had triumphed started to crawl out. They had a very sensitive sense of smell. A massive scorpion briefly paused at the gap under a door and suddenly hissed. The scorpions behind it followed its lead and broke the door. The scorpions charged towards the village like a tide. The villagers died in their sleep and became nourishment for the scorpions. The village became a purgatory. If someone witnessed this, they would probably throw up. When dawn came, the scorpions went underground or into houses to sleep. They waited for night to fall. 
In the morning, a postman from town hummed as he rode his motorcycle to the village. Not many people sent mail now. His job was very leisurely. The postman, who was fifty years old, was just waiting to retire and lead a leisurely life at home. Whether there was a future for postmen was none of his business. The postman thought as he hummed. Would he be able to see that window from the village? When he entered the village, he suddenly felt that something was wrong. In the past, he could hear dogs bark the moment he entered. Why was it so quiet today? Were all the dogs asleep? Suddenly, he heard a rustling sound. He slowly turned his head and saw the scorpions sneaking out of the house. What? The postman did not dare to turn around. He clutched the accelerator and his old motorcycle charged forward. He tried to escape. He could no longer turn back. Behind him was a wave of scorpions. The postman ran for his life. He did not care about that window. He had to survive first. But at that moment, he did not realize that the village roads were full of holes. His motorcycle ran into a pothole and the postman was sent flying. When he was about to get up and run for his life, the wave of scorpions had already surged forth. Chapter 723 You Have Been Surrounded The scorpions covered the entire village like a tide. The postman's motorcycle had not died out, but its owner had been engulfed by the scorpions. After these scorpions had evolved, it was as if they were no longer as scared of the light. They instinctively went underground to hide. In the past, the scorpions would not dare to go out in the light and attack the postman during the day. The scorpions went underground once again. When night fell, the black tide surged forth. Their numbers had increased. The king scorpion was very fast. It broke away from the rest of the scorpions and stood on a small hill. It seemed to be smelling something. Scorpions had a very sensitive sense of smell, even before they had evolved. In the past, people who wanted to get rid of scorpions only had to bring chemicals that irritate the nose, such as asphalt, paint, petrol, or pesticides. This would cause the scorpions to run away. The king scorpion wanted to determine the route that the black wave would take. But at that moment, a gray mouse with a tuft of black hair on its head suddenly landed in front of the king scorpion. It curiously looked at the massive scorpion. The king scorpion looked at the gray mouse, which was about to stretch out its claw and poke it. The king scorpion's tail charged towards the gray mouse like an arrow. It wanted the mouse to pay for its curiosity. But, the mouse grabbed its tail. The king scorpion was furious. It stretched out its pincers to attack. But the mouse retracted its claw and retreated five meters away. It silently looked at the scorpion and was deep in thought. The king scorpion did not expect that a gray mouse would be able to move so quickly. The two of them momentarily paused. The next moment, the gray mouse tried to attack the king scorpion. A clattering sound suddenly came from behind the king scorpion. The black wave had caught up. Their ferocity was frightening. The gray mouse turned around and ran. The king scorpion seemed pleased. With a hiss, the black wave followed the king scorpion to chase after the gray mouse. In the morning, Lu Xu made breakfast after his sword practice. Little Fury and Lu Xiaoyu were waiting at the dining table. Dong dong dong. Someone suddenly knocked on the door. Lu Xiaoyu opened the door, but did not recognize the person standing outside. Lu Xu popped his head out of the kitchen and saw a middle-aged man standing outside. Who are you looking for? A man, who seemed to be the middle-aged man's assistant, stood behind him. His leather shoes were very shiny. He seemed like a successful man. He smiled at Lu Xu. Young man, are your parents home? Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu looked at each other. Lu Xu said, get straight to the point. It's like this. I want to buy this house for a high price. Are you willing to transfer the ownership of this house? The middle-aged man smiled. 
No. Try asking other houses. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. Why did someone want to buy an old and tattered courtyard like theirs? Something was not right. Lu Xu guessed why the man wanted to buy the house. It was probably because the termites had corroded and collapsed buildings earlier. Thus, some tycoons did not want to live in high-rise buildings anymore. There were not many villas in Luo city. Furthermore, there were very few vacant houses. Last night, someone said that the prices of villas had inflated. Some tycoons could not even afford them now. So if they could not afford a villa, they turned to single-story apartments? Considering their wealth, it would not be difficult for them to buy a single-story apartment and renovate it. But Lu Xu had developed feelings for this place. He would not be willing to move out even if he was offered a villa. Oh, wait. Lu Xu suddenly said, how about the house beside ours? The middle-aged man was dumbfounded. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. But I saw that the courtyard was still very clean, so it should be occupied. Do you know how to contact the owner? There was no one living next door. That was the house that Li Xianyi had given Lu Xu. The courtyard was clean because Lu Xiaoyu cleaned up the place every day. There was no problem even if the house was vacant, thus Lu Xu did not sell the house. After all, that old man had given him the house. Before Lu Xu could open his mouth, Lu Xiaoyu said expressionlessly. We can't sell it. What if he comes back to live here? Lu Xu thought about it. So that was why Lu Xiaoyu took the effort to clean the courtyard every day. He turned and said to the middle-aged man, Sorry. We won't sell it. Crash. Lu Xu shut the door and continued to cook. Many rich people were not willing to live in high-rise buildings. Some even desperately announced that they were hiring bodyguards. They were afraid that the mutated creatures would harm them. Rich people would not sit at the edge of the roof. They did not want to put themselves in a dangerous environment. Offices in Luo City had collapsed. Many houses in other cities were also infested with termites. This was a global problem. People were posting four times more than usual on the Golden Foundation Forum. They discussed what they would do if a disaster really occurred. Cases of theft and crime increased by ten times in many places. Things were slightly better at home. All the items in the supermarket were sold out, especially grains. When metahumans appeared, everyone reacted in the same way. But metahumans were still human. There was still room for communication. But the termites were different. At that moment, someone knocked on the door again. Lu Xu opened the door and saw a small mouse. The small mouse gestured at Little Fury. Little Fury took its backpack and ran out. Where are you going? Breakfast is almost done, shouted Lu Xu. But Little Fury did not even turn its head. To Little Fury, this was a great opportunity to gain credit. Did you see Lu Xu praise it yesterday? Although his expression while praising Little Fury was slightly fierce, but it was still a praise. The black wave of scorpions surged towards Luo City. The king scorpion had smelled the scent of flesh from far away. But when they were about to enter the city, countless mice suddenly appeared from a sewer by the road. A nest of scorpions usually held 2,000 to 500 scorpions. The size of the scorpion nests in the village was quite large. One nest held 4,000 scorpions. After one night of transformation and breeding, the wave of scorpions was made out of 12,000 scorpions. 2,000 of these scorpions were the poisonous scorpions that had survived the killing last night. 9,000 of them were newly born. When the king scorpion saw how much their population had grown, it felt invincible. With their numbers, they had no problem dealing with a village. They did not fear the humans in front of them. But as they were about to get rid of the humans, they met the mice army. Their numbers were impressive, but, the mice army, was even more impressive. Little Fury rode the largest gray mouse and slowly came in front of the king scorpion. 
The mice army had surrounded the wave of scorpions. Little Fury slowly took out its small notebook and wrote, You have been surrounded. Although the scorpions definitely could not read, they could not speak either. But Little Fury felt that this was very cruel. Chapter 724, The Mice Army Surrounds and Kills Lu Xu scrolled through the Golden Foundation Forum at home. He came across an interesting piece of news. A few tourists from Australia had come and did not want to go back no matter what. Over 20 people were supposed to take this morning's flight back, but they all stayed behind at the airport, crying and shouting that they wanted to stay here. At first, everyone thought that they had secret intentions. Someone went to talk to them. The Australian tourists confessed, it is already dangerous enough back home. Now, creatures are transforming. We definitely cannot return to that place. Five of the ten most poisonous animals in the world can be found in Australia. Furthermore, pythons and spiders often enter homes. Even kangaroos attack people. No matter what, we cannot go back. We will wait and see. Lu Xiaoyu glanced at Lu Xu. Lu Xu, shall we go to Australia? What for? There are no remains there. We can't earn money either, replied Lu Xu. He was not paying her any attention. Where did Little Fury go? Probably outside the city. Lu Xiaoyu said calmly, the gray mouse said that it had discovered a group of scorpions. Lu Xu envied Lu Xiaoyu's ability. She could understand animal gestures. He said, do you know where it is? I want to try out my sparrow shade. Yesterday, it leveled up. It now has 68 strands. Killing insects will be a breeze. Lu Xiaoyu expressionlessly looked at Lu Xu. Lu Xu, the sparrow shade originally had 36 strands, right? That's right. Lu Xu nodded his head. Why? Since 32 more strands appeared after leveling up, 36 plus 32 should be 68, said Lu Xiaoyu expressionlessly. Lu Xu gasped in shock. He carefully looked at the celestial map. Ha! 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 How mysterious! There were 64 strands yesterday. Now there are 72. Continue talking. Your mathematics teacher must be rolling in his grave right now. From Lu Xu's distress, plus 166. Lu Xu did not want to go anywhere now. On one hand, the Luoshan Cultivation College was about to start admission procedures. He did not want to be humiliated by Nye Ting again. On the other hand, the mutated creatures were a huge problem. There was no reason for him not to stay behind and help the Heavenly Network deal with the mutated creatures that attacked humans. Although ordinary humans were also growing stronger, they could not survive in future crises. He even had to wait for new information, as Lu Xu felt that these creatures had only reached the first stage of evolution. Outside the city, the scorpions were being surrounded by the mice army. Little Fury sat on a gray mouse and devised a strategy. Little Fury was the protector of the Luo city underground. How could it allow so many scorpions to enter the city? But the scorpions were different from the termites. The termites attacked buildings, while these scorpions attacked humans. The king scorpion slowly retreated into the group of scorpions. All the scorpions opened their pincers. When Little Fury saw this, it laughed coldly. It raised a claw and charged forward. The mice army surged forth. When they were restrained, they were as obedient as pets. But when their ferocious side was exposed, their sharp teeth and strong limbs proved that they had been the first to evolve. Zhong Yutong and Yu Mingyu looked at this scene through a telescope and were shocked. They knew that Little Fury was controlling an army, but back then, all Little Fury did was steal snacks from supermarkets. Thus, they did not take Little Fury to heart. Other areas were struggling with rats, while Luo City was unaffected. This made Zhong Yutong and Yu Mingyu slightly annoyed, because this meant that Little Fury had control over all the mice in the Luo City underground. 
Of course, it was good that they did not have to deal with mice. They also knew that Little Fury was not a ruthless species. But thinking about it made them annoyed. If Lu Xu did not restrain Little Fury, the sheer number of mice would be able to kill the entire Luo city in one night and go underground. If Lu Xu were to turn traitor, would the consequences be severe? Zhang Yutong asked. He passed the telescope to Yumingyu. Unless you want to bury half of the city alive along with him, it's best not to think about these kinds of things, said Yumingyu helplessly. Have you thought about it? From my observations, there are over 300 class Fs among the mice. If their numbers continue to increase, more than half the city will be at stake. We have been doing research on the mutated creatures all day to find out the concentration of magical energy required for their evolution, but there have been such creatures under our noses all along. Furthermore, there are so many of them. Zhang Yutong was slightly annoyed. He was the manager of the Heavenly Network in Yuzhou. He had neglected his duty. There is definitely some weird reason behind their earlier evolution. Yu Mingyu said, Lu Xu may be behind this. Then, will Lu Xu become a traitor one day? Zhang Yutong did not know whether he was asking himself or asking Yu Mingyu. It was a question that he had to think about. Yu Mingyu looked at Zhang Yutong. Don't you already have the answer? Zhang Yutong suddenly sighed. It's in Lu Xu's hands. It was as if the mice did not know what pain and death was. When Little Fury commanded them to surround and kill the scorpions, they were not afraid even when the scorpion stingers were in the air. Little Fury sat on his horse and pondered. He could lead an army. Should he learn the art of war? Now, it could only command the mice to surround and kill. It would not be able to come up with a better formation or tactic for a while. Yes, there was a need to learn the art of war. The number of scorpions started to decrease. The mice bit off their pincers and stingers. But the mice were not doing very well either. Their numbers had dropped from 50,000 to 40,000 and continued to drop. But Little Fury was not worried at all. He could just go back and ask Lu Xu for reimbursement. It might even be able to obtain a few refresher fruits. Lu Xu would probably praise it, right? As a member of the family, it was able to establish a career as well. It was much better than Big Cat and Naughty Pig. They had no other pursuits other than eating and sleeping. Zhang Yutong and Yu Mingyu saw that the war had been settled and headed back. Zhang Yutong said, It is good that we have little fury to protect Luo City. We can deploy more manpower to other areas. Send out a notification to patrol breeding farms with poisonous animals, especially privately owned ones. Chapter 725, Hide a Dagger in His Laughter As for the mice army that Little Fury was controlling, even if it was harmless, it would be reported to Nye Ting. It would be up to Nye Ting to decide what to do with it. Little Fury dispatched its underlings to return to the sewers and continue their patrol. It swelled with arrogance as it carried its small backpack and returned home. Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu were watching television. It took out its small notebook. We exterminated 12,000 scorpions. 8,000 of our mice are injured and 13 class Fs have died. End of report. Lu Xu glanced. Okay. He continued to watch television. From Little Fury's distress, plus 199. It did not lose heart. It showed the notebook to Lu Xiaoyu. Lu Xiaoyu replied with an OK OK and continued to watch television. From Little Fury's distress, plus 399. Dejected, Little Fury took its small notebook and walked out. Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu suddenly laughed. Little Fury thought that the two of them had played a trick on it thus it hurriedly went back. But it found out that they were still watching television. It had nothing to do with it. It continued to walk out dejectedly. Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu laughed again. Little Fury thought that if they were still laughing at the television, it would not care about them for a week. 
but it turned around again and saw Lu Xu smiling at it. Lu Xiaoyu was holding a cake. There was a picture of Little Fury on the cake made out of fresh cream. Even the purple tuft of hair on its head had been recreated. Little Fury was dumbfounded. It wrote on its small notebook. Is that for me? Happy first anniversary of joining our family. Lu Xu smiled and said, Last year, the trip to the Beimang remains ended and you followed me home. In the blink of an eye, a year had passed. Lu Xu officially stepped into the realm of cultivation in February last year, during the new year. In June, he followed a team into the Beimang remains. Time had passed so quickly. Now, Lu Xu was 18, Lu Xiaoyu was 11, and Little Fury had been in this family for a year. Little Fury beamed with joy. It wrote on its notebook. How kind. Suddenly, Lu Xu received a call. He picked up the phone and listened. His expression grew more and more serious. Little Fury suddenly had an unpleasant premonition. Lu Xu hung up the phone and looked at Little Fury. He paused for five seconds before he spoke. I heard that you appeared in people's dreams and made them say that you saved them? And you even made them build a memorial hall for you? From Little Fury's distress, plus 299. Little Fury turned and wanted to run away. Screw it. It had been exposed. Fine, fine, don't run. I'll forgive you this time. Lu Xu said, don't abuse your ability to control dreams anymore. Be careful. Little Fury happily ate its cake. It looked around the house. Although some of the floor tiles were broken and the walls were turning yellow, it was still home. It decided that it would not stir up trouble anymore. It could not ruin their family's reputation. That night, Lu Xu scrolled through his phone before his training. He saw a post from a high school student on his timeline. Recently, I encountered something strange. Last night, a squirrel appeared in my dreams. It said that it had saved the entire Luo city and wanted me to build a memorial hall for it. I thought that it was just a dream. Just now, it appeared in my dream again and said that I didn't need to build the hall anymore. This, can the Heavenly Network do something about it? As the natural order was being overturned, the Luoshan Cultivation College had started admission procedures. Lu Xu brought Lu Xiaoyu and hurried to the Cultivation College. He realized that everyone there was familiar. The students from Luo City were the earliest. Students from other cities would take some time to come. The school fees were comprehensive. The Heavenly Network had used their funds to provide support. Furthermore, all Daoyuan class students would receive an allowance and magical stones every month. Lu Xu looked at the contents of the prospectus. So today, we have to finish the procedures. We still have to fill in which area we want to specialize in. We'll have to wait for a notice when we get back. According to the prospectus, there were eight broad specializations, combat, investigation, command, species research, cultivation organization relations and security, awakening, and technique research. Luoshan Cultivation College was the first cultivation college that the Heavenly Network had established. There would most likely be more specializations in the future. More than half of the specializations had nothing to do with battles, but the Heavenly Network did not recruit many non-combat members. After submitting their choices, only the best candidates would be recruited based on their strengths and score. As for the others, if they applied for a specialization but did not meet the requirements, they would be allocated to other specializations. But this was different from university. Each school taught different content from other schools, other than English and mathematics. Of course, there were some schools where students did not have to take mathematics. But the Luoshan Cultivation College was different. Foundation courses such as linguistics, cultivation organization relations, philosophy, psychology, and so on were subjects that all students had to take. There were classes, just like in high school. The specializations were subjects that the students would train in. 
During lesson time, students would go to their respective classrooms and training grounds. Lu Xu softly asked, What specialization are you planning to take? Whatever you are taking, said Lu Xiaoyu. To her, it did not matter what she studied. How about species research? Lu Xu asked. I am more interested in this area. The rest are normal. Okay. Lu Xiaoyu agreed. She had skipped grades not to enter a good school, but to be with Lu Xu. Lu Xu brought Lu Xiaoyu to submit their list of choices. Everyone was able to receive a certain number of magical stones from the logistics department upon submission. Shi Fei had also entered the cultivation college. Many veterans from the Heavenly Network had also come to further their studies. Those who had a class like Lu Xu and Shi Fei were able to receive their allowance of magical stones. Lu Xu felt that this was humane. What was humane? Giving money was humane. After Lu Xu submitted his list, he waited to receive his magical stones, but the logistics team did not react. Lu Xu was curious. What about my magical stones? The member of the logistics team carefully looked at him. Lu Xu, my records say that you are an audit student. We can't give you magical stones. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. There were audit students in cultivation colleges? He must be the only audit student in the entire country. Ka. Lu Xu had raised his trident. Look into my eyes and say that again. How could the logistics team not recognize the local boss, Lu Xu? He was about to burst into tears. It has Heavenly King Nia's signature and seal here. You don't count as an official student. Lu Xu gnashed his teeth. Nia Ting. He personally passed me my admission letter. He really hit a dagger in his laughter. We're not done here. Lu Xiaoyu calmly asked, I have never understood how a dagger can be hidden in a laugh. Lu Xu was silent. Ha! 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 Dagger. Ha! 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 Like this. From Lu Xiaoyu's distress, plus 666. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens To tell us things that we better